All right, so uh, mailman just came. Um, I just got my replica Elcan Spectre DR from Hong Kong. I ordered it on Sunday from www.pxairsoft.com. Um, I used the uh, express shipping. It was like $14 more or something. And uh, it got here four days later. It's Thursday. So not too bad uh, getting it from China. Um, First impressions upon opening the box, uh, it's heavy. This thing definitely feels like the real thing. Um, externally, it, it looks pretty good. There's uh, it, it's, it matches a lot of trademarks. Um, in the box, um, came with an extra battery. It also had a battery installed, an extra backup iron sight, and a little lens cleaning kit. So. Um, couple differences that I noticed right off the bat though. Uh, one, the uh, the rear lens has this weird ring around it. Uh, regular Elcan has a better field of view. Um, the field of view in this one is, is sort of limited compared to the regular Elcan. Um, two, it doesn't seem like it's got a lock for the elevation so I don't know if it's gonna hold elevation or if it can get bumped around and lose elevation. I know the recoil is not going to be too much of a factor because it's going on an airsoft gun. Um, and uh, that that's about it looking at it from from obvious differences. It's pretty pretty good representation of an Elkan. Uh, looking through the reticle The reticle is different. Reticle is sort of like an ACOG reticle. Uh, it's got a green function. I don't know what the hell the Chinese fascination with green reticles is. But it comes with a green function where the regular red dot function would be on an Elcan. And then to light up the bullet drop tree on the real Elcan gives you your red function. So, that's see if I can get there without uh... there you go it's starting to turn red couple different brightnesses doesn't seem like it's too bright but bright enough to work I guess so this one actually though is not fixed for power you can use the field of view selector lever and it zooms in you can see it zooming in a little bit right there huh? um, the zoom is near not nearly as, cl as uh, quickly as the real Elcan the real Elcan switches almost instantaneously this one right here um, doesn't doesn't switch as quickly in the real Elcan this little lens up front uh, like flips to the side and this one I don't know what it's doing actually I don't know if it's just like twisting a lever in there or something and switching it from one to four power but it, it doesn't work the same way as a real Alcan so thank God the Chinese haven't figured that out um, I went with the black because the the dark earth colored uh, Spectre DRs one weren't available and couldn't find them and uh, two uh, they didn't get the anodizing right from what I see in the pictures. It looks like pretty much gold. Yeah, it looked, looked pretty crappy. It didn't look anything like the dark earth, the bronze. Um, it was like a, a golden leaf color. It looked really cheap. But this one externally, the, they got the trademarks right. They got all the markings right. Couple differences. The elevation uh, screw in the real one has these two holes there. For what reason, I don't know. Um, arms levers look okay. Hopefully, um, they fit the, the rails to spec. But all in all, for 200 bucks, um, it seems like a pretty faithful replica. It'll look cool on my airsoft gun. I'm about to go paint it up. Um, minor differences, but what, what can you expect? It's Chinese clone. Um, cool thing is though it actually does switch from 1 to 4 power which is what I was looking for. If you got any questions just uh, leave them in the comment section.